Hey guys, this is Sashwin here. In this video, we are going to solve the problem Sam and substrings. Samantha and Sam are playing a numbers game. Given a number as a string, no leading zeros, determine the sum of all integer values of substrings of the string. Given an integer as a string, sum of uh, all substrings can be cast as uh, integers and we could uh, compute the value. The number may become too large, so we can use this modulus 10 to the power of 9 plus 7 to keep it in the range. So this, uh, so let's see an example. Uh, here n is 42. If you take the digits, uh, we have 4 to 42. Sum all the digits and uh, we are getting 48. Here the modulus doesn't affect, but in the bigger values, uh, the modulus will be helpful and uh, we have to keep on updating uh, based on this uh, modulus only in order to avoid the memory overflow or, and some other uh, problems. So I guess uh, the problem is st pretty straightforward but if you generate all the substrings uh, with the length of n it will definitely exceed the time limit. Uh, here you can see the constraints it can go up to 10 to the power of 5 so if you take all the possible uh, uh, substrings from here uh, it, this will definitely uh, go out of the time limit so this is the sample input so if you take 1 plus 6 that is 7 and add it with uh, 16 the result is 23 so we are returning it here and for 123 the number of substrings is like 6 so again the digits with length of 3 we are getting around 6 imagine uh, with the length of 10 to the power of 5 so we will be getting like more substrings so we have to figure out some pattern uh, by solving the sub problem and uh, using the previous result to compute the next sub problem so we are going to definitely apply dynamic programming here and i will also trace uh, this example after writing the code uh, let's uh, dive into the solution so I'll just initialize uh, two variables that will be total equals previous equals zero and uh, we have to use the modulus anyway so mod I'll just keep it in a variable so 10 to the power of 9 plus 7 so this is the mod value and we will go to the main logic for i comma digit i represents the index and uh, digit represents the uh, actual value uh, in the string so in enumerate of n previous equals previous multiplies by 10 plus int of digit multiplies i plus 1 so this is the core logic of this problem I will explain how the logic uh, works and uh, we will just update the previous previous modulus mod and we will also update the total total equals total plus previous modulus mod so we are just uh, keeping everything in check uh, with this uh, two lines so this straightforward uh, I guess uh, you guys understand this better uh, we will concentrate on this particular line how it is uh, working we will just return the total and uh, let's run the code once to check everything is fine okay it passed all the sample test cases now for the example 123 okay in the first iteration so previous is 0 so this whole thing will be 0 so 0 plus int of digit uh, that will be 1 so 1 and uh, we are considering like a one based indexing so uh, we'll be just multiplying it by 1 again multiplying it by 1 so the total is 1 so for a uh, sub problem uh, when we have digit only 1 with the value 1 the result is also 1 so this is the uh, first sub problem we will go to the second iteration in the second iteration the previous is 1 so if we multiply it by 10 this will become 10 
plus uh, the value is 2 and uh, the index also 2 so that will be 4 so the total is 14 14 and uh, if you add it to the total it will become 15 so plus 1 equals 15 so we are just updating the total with previous so I'll just uh, have the result in the bracket uh, this is for only one as an input and this is for one two as an input and the last iteration which is the third one so in the previous we have like uh, 14 so that that only will be stored in the previous so 14 means multiplied by 10 it will be 140 plus uh, value is 3 that is the digit 3 multiplies 3 which is the index so if you compute the total it will become 149 149 plus 15 will be 164 so this is the result of 123 so you can clearly see how the uh, logic builds up so we are just solving it uh, for one simple sub problem and we are uh, incrementing to the next sub problem and finally we are solving the actual problem so we are just keeping add uh, adding up the input with the previous uh, results we have computed so this is the previous result we are we have computed and we are uh, keep on uh, uh, updating the logic so while observing this pattern uh, I had to like uh, do the pen and paper and uh, get some pattern in order to solve this problem so initially I have tried like uh, uh, two and uh, same digit something like that I have tried a uh, different combination uh, I just uh, used like the sub problem solution so I know the solution for 1 2 is 15 so I, I just uh, found out this uh, logic um, before that itself like the previous multiply is 10 because uh, most of the cases will be just multiplying it by 10 in order to move the digit and apart from that I just have had to compute this alone uh, how to come up with this so I just uh, done some pen and paper uh, uh, pattern tracing and I finally figured out the logic so for all the complex problems you just have to solve it using pen and paper by just looking at the sample input and um, uh, if you want to figure out the logic it will be quite difficult so try to do tracing like this uh, and try to solve it manually how you would uh, solve the problem and uh, figure out some common patterns from it so that's how you solve majority of the problems uh, in the logical level so if you have any other approach apart from this leave a comment below uh, let's uh, submit the code once to check uh, all the test cases has been passed so yeah everything is passed uh, apart from that if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel for future videos see you guys in the next video